been a while that I've stopped making straight lace simple cakes. I'm all for experimenting because bakery is truly a passion. However, most often happy accidents, but this one is epic. I'm creating a cross between a cheesecake and a tart, but Arabian in nature and the flavors bang on of the Middle East. Don't forget to subscribe and hit on the bell icon as we get to creating my version of a very Iranian love cake. This love cake is a gluten-free version, so I'm using super fine almond meal flour. Into my stand mixer goes in one cup of softened yellow butter or 228 grams. A cup of super fine sugar, one cup of dark brown sugar with one teaspoon of cinnamon powder mixed with it. And lastly, four and a half cups of almond meal flour. Blend till it smoothens really well. As this comes together like coarse sand, it's time to take out half of it and this is where that happy accident happens. I'm using my hands, this is a love cake guys, so half the crust sets at the base. I'm just going to flatten it down. With half the crust perfectly laden in an 8 inch spring foam mold, the other half in goes one and one fourth cup of some Greek yogurt, full fat cream, or nearly 400 grams. Just take everything into that. Into that goes three whole eggs. And we're just gonna blend all this up along with some rose water. So I'm using nearly two tablespoons of rose water. And lastly, some natural bourbon vanilla extract. So nearly about two teaspoons of that too and live in this entire creation now. Now while I've used some cinnamon and rose water, you can go right ahead and use some lavender extract along with some nutmeg or some orange blossom along with some lovely cardamom and create another version of this. Great, great, great. Pour atop the crust. Into a preheated oven this goes at 160 degrees centigrade for exactly one and a half hour. You want this to bake at the slowest possible temperature, but bake till it just gets that perfect jiggle right in the center. Perfectly baked. This delectable treat needs to be cooled down and chilled in the refrigerator for nearly 4 hours. A few hours later, perfectly chilled. All one needs to do is garnish this baby up. Scattering on top some beautiful dehydrated rose petals. Some kernels of pistachio, thinly sliced up. And what's an Iranian love cake without some edible gold? Scatterfees on top and a decadent, decadent treat is ready. I hope you enjoyed creating this one with me. A delectable cross between a tart and a cake. This love cake is a delight all by in itself. All you need to do is just cut a wedge of it and dig right in. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button. Stay safe, stay blessed and don't forget to leave a 